All right, guys, we're back. I'm your boy D. Anthony. I'm my boy Adon. I'm my boy C. Jack here, and we are Break Room Blitz. I want to yeah, thank yeah. you guys for watching. Um, welcome to our page. You know, as as you know, we, we do movie reviews and uh, some other stuff too. So you want to check out our other stuff? Another thing. We dabble. You know. Um, and if any time during this video we make you smile, go ahead and hit that like button. If we make you think, go ahead and comment. And if you just want to see us every week, go ahead and hit that subscription button with an added bonus with the notification button as well. Oh, boop. You want to know everything we do, okay? Boop in it. Yeah. All right. So, we went to go see this wonderful movie. Wonderful movie. The sequel of a classic. Called, called Blaze Runner 2049. Blade. Uh, <laughs> starring Ryan Gosling, Harrison Ford, Dave Bautista. Uh, Jared Leto. So it's, it's full full line here. Robin Wright, if you guys you know know from uh, Wonder Woman. Mm -hmm. um, so full cast here. Okay. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna just jump in there about what I thought. We're gonna jump in there about what our initial thoughts were in the rating. Right. So you don't have to wait wait whole video to know. <laughs> um, for me, I thought the acting was great. I thought the cinematography was great. Mm -hmm. um, I even kind of liked the story a little bit, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but for me, the actual scenes were too dramatized as far as like a lot of staring going on. They're very, very dramatic, and I felt like I didn't really need to. Um, the great parts of the movie, I felt, would just take too long to get to, so I didn't really have any actual rewatch re value. I was interested because I didn't know what was happening. It was a new story, mm -hmm. so I was initially interested, mm -hmm. but as far as... In the future, I don't think I would ever really watch it again. I mean, the, the villain was great. I did like I did like her. Um, I thought Ryan Gosling was good. Mm -hmm. I can see why people say this is a good uh, sequel to the original. I, I can see it. Right. But I also didn't like the original, so I'm kind of on par with that. So if I had to rate it, I'm going to give it a two out of five stars. Two out of five. What are you guys thinking? I'm right there with you, you know, and... Uh... Uh, I think that visually the movie was dope. I think it's a good sequel. I think it, this sequel is actually better than the original, but I feel that the original storyline has uh, uh, holds more weight to it. Um, I appreciated what they did there, and it just spawned a whole like series for all these new movies. Um, like you said, the cinematic, the acting was really good. Um, on the con side of things, I think it was a little drawn out, like for them to like be over dramatic yeah. and uh, over, you know, dramatize like every little thing that they were doing, open the box, walk down the hall, and it's just like silence, you know, when they could be dialogue and all that kind of stuff. But it's very artsy, and you know, it, I, I think it would kind of take away, but um, I, I think that there's also like some cuts in there and deleted scenes, just like they did with the original, that were probably going to pop up later in like maybe a Blu ray edition. Um, rewatch value for me, uh, there is none. I mean, <laughs> I, I uh, respect it. It's a respectable movie. I did like it. It wasn't bad. It's just not all there for me. If I had to give it a rating, I'm going to give it a three out of five stars. All right. Now, we got our uh, contrast here. Hopefully. Yes, contrast. 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 All right. I, I'm a fan of the original. I remember watching it a long time ago. Loved the movie. Loved the concept. Really based on, you know, man creating and then creation becoming superior mm -hmm. if you really look at it and uh, you know it, it goes in relation to just modern world we're always trying to play God so um, you know this movie is a heavy thinker uh, if you really think about it it's, it's, it's a very I guess mindful and thought processed movie on just human emotions mm -hmm. um, you know ideologies you know wh what we believe in and and love honestly like a cap off is just like that one concept that everyone's really chasing if you really think about it but um, mm -hmm. a hero to villain complex was there Intellectual value was there for me. Um, I liked the cast cinematically. It was beautiful. It's gonna get a four point five. Four point five. Four point five. Heavy hitter. Now, why are we missing that point five for a perfect score? Um, you know, there's a movie that you walk out of and you're like, oh my god! Mm -hmm. And this movie was still just cinematically wonderful. As far as a level up from the previous movie, it definitely goes up for me. Mm -hmm. But I'm curious as to where the story's gonna go now because mm -hmm. they have to level up now. So. It's, it's, it's a, I can't say it's a perfect movie. It's not really a perfect movie. It had you feeling with your android heart, did it? <laughs> <laughs> your cold heart. Yeah, my cold heart with my, with my synthetic heart. 
Um, all right. Well, that's that's what we thought, guys. That's our honest truth. How we felt out of the theater. We just came from seeing it. Yeah. Cinematic theater. Cinematic. Cinemark theaters. Yeah. I'm trying to give a little shout out. Cinemark. Um, so we do this right afterwards. This yeah. is how we felt. <laughs> uh, we're not taking notes or anything like that. We're not rewatching it. It's initial feeling out the gate. Right out the gate. Spoiler free. Spoiler free. Um, so, was it a good sequel? Was it something that people would be able to relate to? Like, as far as if they watched... Yeah, I felt it was. A, I felt it lied true to the original concept of the original movie. It actually took it up a notch because as far as what it was, again, like, you know, you, you, you created something and this something actually becomes more than humanity itself. And they're actually striving to be more better human beings. So, in contrast to just... Humanity in general is kind of funny, and in this movie, it does it again, but even more. It takes it up to a heightened level where we, where the, the synthetics perverse what was initiated for them, and because of that, and because they're getting closer to becoming more human than we are, it's 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 deemed. That's actually horrible. that you say that because I didn't. What I got from it was they're like little children. They obey. They never rebel, and when they do get a chance to have a sense of power, they. Uh, take it overboard. They don't really know, have a sense of control of their strength or of their abilities or of what they, what's right and wrong. I see them as infants or uh, maybe not an infant, maybe a toddler. They learn, like when the uh, AI first got to touch the, the water or whatnot. You know, the way she reacted was not like she ever even heard of rain before. So I, I, it's interesting that you say that. I don't see them being better. They're more permeable then I guess we would be, it's a, uh, especially what yeah. I would like us to think, like to think we would be in 2049. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I, it's interesting to say that because I actually talking in the car, um, Ryan Gosling's character, for instance, um, you know, you're led to believe that you're a synthetic. So a synthetic yeah. at that point has to contemplate their emotions because their emotions are programmed. So therefore, when they tell you or you think you're feeling you think, well, I'm not really feeling, that's just a mathematical program embedded inside of me. But when he started to believe that he actually had something more than what he was, then at that point, <laughs> things became more real for him because he became more than just a synthetic. He became more close to humanity. And he, he, he like, that, that hit something. When you realize that you're more than what you're actually told you are, mm -hmm. we only, as human beings, learn our limits by the limitations that our, our parents give us. No, you can't do that. So at that point, we, really, we, we put in our head, we're not, we can't do that. So these synthetics are very limited. They're limited times 10 because they're told you're just a robot. So that's all you're ever going to be, and this is all you're allowed to do. Mm -hmm. So that's why, they're, you know, at that point, they're really limitless when it comes down to it. So, I mean, that's the way I perceive it, at least. So I thought it was a good sequel as far as continuing with the um, tone and you know just the overall story mm -hmm. it wasn't like somewhere you know like that's a whole different story like we didn't have to like question what what so if you've seen the original and you saw this one it's going to connect i personally think you need to see the first one I, yeah absolutely um i've heard that you didn't i don't agree with that just because right. there's not a lot of dialogue they, they, it's a lot of just like mm -hmm. cinematic shots and yeah. you have to just watch them doing things and you don't really, you won't really know why if you don't understand, you know. So I, I think that even like the whole little, the they found a, a body. When they find a body, we, ha I know who they're referring to because I've seen the first one, mm -hmm. you know. So I, I think you should watch the first one if you are interested. Um, but I thought it was a good, a good sequel. What do you? I think that the sequel, like like I mentioned, it was better than the original. Um, uh, we they did do a different take. It wasn't like that whole noir type of feeling with it, like you know, uh, Sin City, you know. Um, so we got a definitely a modern take on this, which you know I appreciated what they did with us, and they actually show us how the world's evolved since then from the uh, classic movie of this. You know, we we get a sense of the city and how it's all like laid out, very grid, and then the dumping grounds and. It still takes place in the same area, and it's cool to see that transition in between movies. Yeah. So, big question. Mm -hmm. Does Harrison Ford bring more to the story? Do we absolutely need him to be in it? I think that he's a significant character, and, uh, you know, uh, w without having him in there, I mean, 
it, there would be nothing to tie it in. It, it wouldn't be that much more of a level, you know. So we're, we're talking about the evolution of these synthetic beings, you know, and how they're going from, you know, being fully synthetic to now having a soul and having that conversation about do they even matter? Is all this real for them? And the fact that they're able to bring life into this world is a game changer. They talk about having a miracle child and it's kind of like that whole, you know, Jesus and, you know, Virgin Mary kind of deal almost really. Right. So, um, cool. I think Harrison Ford's character, very pivotal for that reason. What do you think? Yeah, he's the bridge, honestly, from the past movie. Um, I think uh, you don't, like, I think you're pretty much on par with not knowing what the movie's about unless you saw the last one. It does come together towards the end because they start actually bringing this stuff up and connecting it, but Harrison Ford's character is very pivotal as far as how it transitions in the next couple movies if they continue doing them. Um, as far as the, he's the core, he's really the core of it, and um, you know what him and the, his the person he fell in love with brings to the table. Mm -hmm. That's interesting because I did not feel like he brought anything as far as um, substance to the actual story. I think that he could have been what what his cyborg girlfriend was, like how they had the picture of her oh, and they right. had like the CGI part real quick. Um, we could have just did that and still went on our little search, our little hunt. Mm -hmm. I didn't think that he really brought much to it, um, especially be with the twist at the end, where we end up finding out. I'm like, oh, well then, we did all that for nothing. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. I, I felt like he needed to get stabbed by Kylo Ren. <laughs> <laughs> all right, huh? Um, well, he wasn't in this movie, okay? <laughs> Man, I wanted him to die, I guess, you know? <laughs> to be like, oh, snap! But it... it uh, does it make you think, or was it like your typical sci-fi movie? For me personally, I'm gonna just go and answer. I'm gonna answer my own question. Get it off your chest. Yeah. <laughs> answer. I'm gonna give so a question chest. with a question. Yeah. Um, I didn't think that it was an actual thought-provoking story because it's not a lot of dialogue. I'm an intellectual. I like to talk. I like to see other people's ideas and philosophies, and there's not a lot of that. There's a lot of just. People looking at each other, looking at items, opening up doors, you know. So, what the, the most dialogue that they actually had was um, Ryan Gosling and his girlfriend. We have his girlfriend here, Anna De Armas. De Armas. Joy. Joy. Uh, her name was Joy. Yeah, hey, Joy. <laughs> um, that was the most dialogue that we got between two people. Uh, so we don't really know what everyone's thinking. Um, I mean, I did like when Ryan Gosling's character broke down and he like kind of yelled. Yeah, but that was great. Um, there was another point at the time where I wish he would have done that. That was kind of a pivotal moment when it, it, interacting with his girlfriend. Um, but I just didn't. It didn't do it for me as someone who likes to talk. Mm -hmm. So, what do you guys think? I I think for me, uh, it did it. It was nice. It, it was nice to have that thought of like this whole movie. I'm pretty much like thinking, okay, well, is uh, Ryan Gosling character is he real or is he half real? Is he the boy? Is are these dreams his actual dreams or were they pre-programmed in there? Were they taken? So it does make me have a lot of questions up until we actually find out the truth of the matter and who who the origin story of this is. You know. And that's, you know, Harrison Ford's character and his lineage or whatnot. So I think that uh, there are pretty good questions in there. And the way that they're drawn out, I mean, we do get some of those, you know, emotions from some of these characters. Uh, I appreciated that. Um, showing that these android people that are, like, supposed to be very synthetic and, like, hardly any emotion are so flawed, you know, that they're breaking down, they're getting angry, they're getting mad, they think that they're falling in love. And I, I think that th for that part, it, it was pretty cool. It does make you kind of second think about, like, who's real and who's not. All right, see, Jack, what you got? What you think for me? So um, I think it's a really good contrast, too. I, I think logic in this movie, it's there, but you, you would think it would be more there because you're dealing with synthetics. Um, it's there, but the underlying factor is kind of emotion. Like, I feel like this movie is more emotional than it is logic-based. Um, and I think that's why I connected with so much. Um, and it's just because, the, like, uh, you know, as far as how the emotions are displayed and, and how, again, like, 
you know, synthetics or, you know, humanity, all that jazz. Um, I just, I think it was really, really based off of more of an emotional basis of love and the complexity of that. Um, you know, that, that, you know, you, you can't necessarily create love. And uh, there's a scene specifically where uh, they're talking to um, uh, one of the, 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 one of these kind of memory creators is speaking to Brian Gosson's character and um, she says, you can tell a real memory from a fake memory because the real memories are just a mess. And the reason why they're a mess to me is because when it comes to true emotion, it's such a combined effect of so many different mixed emotions. It's, it's an abundance. It's not just one. It's, it's a lot of things. And um, I think with humanity, that there comes in our complexity of complete and utter emotion. So, um, yeah, no, I just, uh, I, I think that's... Uh, so it know, wasn't a basic sci-fi movie for you. It was. Oh, it was. It was definitely sci-fi. I mean, you can't you go into this world not thinking it's sci-fi. It's I'm saying a basic one. Like yeah. it's not just. No, like this your... is definitely a lot more to it um, than just a general sci-fi movie. All right, all right, um, all right, guys. Well, that's our review of Blade Runner 2049. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. We want to know what you guys thought. Do you guys agree? Disagree? Should Harrison Ford continue? or not let us know what you guys think all right check out check out all the stuff we have on our page guys and i'm your boy d'anthony i'm done see you jake we'll break room blitz baby peace, peace.